welcome to another edition of the Top 10 Countdown. I'm your host, Megan Mansell, but that's not important right now. What is important is what you are doing with your burrito. Today, I'll be telling you about the top 10 things to do with your burrito. Many of these things have never been thought of before because no one in their right mind would have ever thought of them. That is, until now. Many of these ideas are also very sick nasty, and that is a good thing. And you will want to do these for the rest of your life. They're very beneficial and will help society and will change your life forever. So let's get started. Kicking off the countdown at number 10 is making music. No musical talent or are you just really, really bad? With the just the essence of a burrito, it will help inspire you to make beautiful music and it will better your life forever. Necesitamos un burrito. Burrito? 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 Burrito! Ready, guys? Ready. All right. Coming in at number nine, being a magician. Have you ever wanted to be a magician, but didn't think you could ever pull a rabbit out of a hat or have balls to throw around? Well, it's okay, because with a burrito, you can do anything, including being a magician, your lifelong dream. Coming in at number eight, a way not to get lost in the woods. Remember that classic children's story about the little boy and girl named Hansel and Gretel who got lost in the woods? But before they did, they made a trail of breadcrumbs because they thought it would help them get out of the woods. However, the little animals ate them and they got lost in the woods and almost got eaten by an old lady. If you do not want this to happen to you, you can take a burrito with you because it's strong enough that the animals won't eat it. And even if you do get lost, you'll find your way out and then you can eat the burrito and won't get eaten. Yay. Do you hate going places without a seat cushion or even a pillow because you become very, very uncomfortable? Well, why don't you try bringing along your trusty burrito? It works very nicely as a pillow or a seat cushion and you'll never be uncomfortable ever again. I know you'd be very, very, very sad to lose your burrito, but in cases where you really need money, it's a good thing. At number six, selling your extremely coveted burrito online or in the classified section of the newspaper for money to buy more burritos. In doing so, you'll have more money to buy more burritos and you'll never be hungry again. Halfway point already? I could do this all day. Coming in at number five, weapon slash self-defense object. Don't have pepper spray when Mr. Creeper or Sketchy McSesterson is knocking at your door? Well, you can use a burrito as a self-defense object. Seriously, having a burrito literally thrown at your face can hurt a lot, especially when there's extra beans. Coming in at number four, fetching object. Does Sparky want to play fetch, but you don't have any balls or throwing objects to play with him? That's okay, as long as you can go buy a burrito or make one yourself, you and Sparky can play fetch. And afterwards, after getting a nice exercise hour with your dog, you two can split a nutritious snack and be full and happy together. At number three, improvisational sports object. Is your basketball, soccer ball, football, frisbee, whatever, not working? Well, try using a burrito instead. A burrito works just as well as any of these objects and you might even have more fun and afterwards you can eat it too. By using a burrito, it literally puts the I in team so that phrase no longer applies. At number two, and I guarantee no one in their right mind has ever thought of this before, putting on a puppet show with your burritos. That's right, dress them up in fabulous outfits and put on a fabulous Broadway style musical or play. In addition, you could also have a fashion show. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Oh, look how pretty I am. I'm the prettiest burrito puppet in the land. Princess Esmeralda, they call me. Da -da -da, la -da -da -da. Hey, ah! come in. Come with me. I'm kidnapping you. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll come. Oh, see you. Oh, see you. Esmeralda. Thanks, Prince Jeremiah. Yay. Woo. Let's get married. Okay, let's go. Woo. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll get my revenge. Woo! <laughs> Coming in at number one, the most unobvious thing that there is on this countdown. No, I'm just kidding. It's eating your burrito. Not only can you have a nice, healthy-ish meal, you can also donate burritos all around the world and save the planet, and it will all be thanks to you and your burrito. I mean, come on, it's to solve the problem of world hunger. What could be better? This brings our countdown to a close. I hope you had fun learning about the many adventures you can have with your burrito. Keep your eyes out for another edition of the Top 10 Countdown coming soon. And stay burrito-full.